such thing as PTSD. There's no such thing as OCD. There's no such thing as ADHD. Those, those are noble lies. To basically give the excuse to, in the end of the day, to medicate people. Mm. And Big Pharma is in charge of a lot of that. If you, if you, if you understand, take PTSD for example. What that really is is grief. You are fighting a war. You lost your buddies. You have a certain amount of survival guilt because you made it back. They didn't. How do you deal with the grief? Grief is a real thing. But grief is part of life. And if you can't navigate grief, you can't live life. But if you clinic, clinically define that, you can give them a pill, a series of medications, and they end up in L.A. homeless on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. This is, this is in, in regard to children, it's the, the most deadly thing that's been unleashed on children, medication. We, um, we're trying to make clear to parents that behavior is essentially the result of choices that kids make. And if you parent them properly, they'll make right choices. But if you blame it on some, something other than their choices and you identify them as having something they can't do anything about, but medicate it. You, you literally are turning your child into a potential, uh, well, not only a potential drug addict, but maybe a potential criminal. Mm. Because they never learn how to navigate life in a socially acceptable mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Afi Sharif said, uh, mute his mic. <laughs> um, so what do you guys think about what he said? Is there no such thing as mental health? Is everything we see as mental health just um, us battling with spiritual things? I disagree. I disagree with yeah. everything he said. I disagree with him for a long time when he said that Jesus didn't deal with cultural issues. He said that one time. Yeah, then he said there's no such thing as systemic racism. Yeah. There's a lot of things he said. There's a lot of stuff I don't really agree with. Um, I think mental health is, in fact, real. Uh, we see it every day. Shoot. He sounded like he was struggling with mental health. Yeah. Mic. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? But you can look in scripture and see people who dealt with mental mental mm -hmm. issues. You see Elijah in the, in the, in running from uh, Jezebel. He's suicidal. You look at the Psalms and the things that David has went through. You had mm -hmm. where he lost a child because of Bathsheba, and then he had another son trying to kill. You don't think mental anguish and things of that nature were going on? Mm -hmm. um, his his daughter got got raped by by one of his sons. Like you don't think she was affected by that? You don't think that messed her up, especially in her culture where now she has no value as a woman. You don't think that caused some kind of mm -hmm. mental trauma, mental kind of issue? So to say uh, mental health is not real or like PTSD and stuff, it just like I think you're just reaching, you know what I'm saying? I, um, <clears throat> I, I have to say that I felt similar, similarly to him um, in the past. I did a spoken word piece um, called Pushers because mm -hmm. um, somebody in my family was dealing with, um, you know, being diagnosed with a mental health issue and given drugs. And I felt like I could see some of what he's saying about there is a industry that is pushing drugs on mm -hmm. kids, pushing drugs on people first and not even exploring what could be happening spiritually to them. So I think there is an element to what he's doing. But honestly, I, I have to say this, watching our friend Kenny mm -hmm. struggle with mental health, our, yeah. our friend Kenny, he's on our wall here. One of these pictures is him. Um, you see him? Yeah, right, right, right here, uh, right behind Ryan. Our friend Kenny, I watched him struggle with it. And if you don't know, a couple years ago, he took his life. Mm -hmm. um, and he struggled really, really hard with mental health. He's actually been on the show. If you go back to our archives, oh, you'll of, see him. Shows, yeah. He used to come in. He spoke about his mental health struggles mm -hmm. on the show. And it is true. There's a lot of this is spiritual. 
But just like your body could get injured, just like your body could get cancer, just like your body can have issues, your brain can have issues Chemical as well. Imbalance. There mm-hmm. could be issues going on with your mind um, as well. It could get injured and infected just like your body can, the rest of your body can. And to say that the only thing that our friend Kenny was dealing with was just spiritual is is incorrect. Yeah. He tried. He got, he got off this medication. He prayed his way through that thing. Yeah. It took him over. Yeah. There is something physical going on with a, lo- a lot of people that is real. Yeah, it is real. So there has to be there has to be an understanding of what he's saying. There there's some truth to that. There are some spiritual things going on, but there's also some physical things going on. You can't ignore that. And and That's watching true. him struggle, mm-hmm. it's a hundred percent true that there are real issues that people are facing right now. My mom uh, actually retired from a behavioral health uh, clinic. She worked there for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. And there were so many stories that she would come home and tell me and my siblings on, you know, just everything with dealing with grief, depression, suicidal thoughts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's definitely it's it's very much real. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, it's one of those things where, you know, it's it's mental things as well. um, But you have a lot of people that's that don't know what's inside of them. Mm-hmm. To be able to figure those things out, um, unfortunately, I, I dealt. The, so, I mean, I know a lot of topics that we're talking about. I'm dealing with a lot of these different things, right? But mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately, three years ago, um, in August, I, uh, to be three years this August, I lost my daughter, oh. uh, my youngest daughter, uh, to suicide. Sorry, um, Sorry, so yes. she she dealt with um, drugs wow. and alcohol, and a lot of different things. Uh, and so she was going through some of those same things. And you know, we tried to get her help. You know, and then a lot. I think a lot of times, people see help and they want they accept the help and some people don't accept the help some people have their different life styles of different things that they're doing and they want to stay in those so so people can get help mm-hmm. uh, people can be saved uh, from that you have the church that that's a part of that that can help people but even outside of the church people need counseling it's, it's one thing yes. to pray for somebody it's one, one thing to do that but people need counseling people uh, need to go go do some t- some people do need medication you know yeah. to, to, to yeah. regulate their body as much as possible so people go through so many different things and man and for him to say something like that man I, I, I don't think that is right yeah, shout out no. to our live listeners um uh, some of them have, have dealt with this as well. Cindy V said um, she lost her husband to suicide. We're sorry, really sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. Um, this is this is a heavy topic for people. So to say to to blame this on uh, oh this was just some spiritual thing that you ignored or whatever mm-hmm. is, is just not true. There are real real challenges people have that that there's they haven't until now been able to even have a solution for mm-hmm. medically. So um, yes, I think there are some abuses. But it cannot just be ignored. Um, we've seen too many instances uh, just on our team, yeah. uh, people dealing with mental health. Yeah. What would you say uh, about the treatments? You know, the treatments, um, prayer versus pills versus, you know what I'm saying, like just um, coping. Like, what do, what do you say about those things? I think it's all it's all individual. You mm-hmm. know, certain people need, um, you know, instead of just being doped up on Ritalin or something like that, some mm-hmm. people need a, a, a deeper uh, conversation with professionals yeah. uh, to really recognize what's what's the, what's good for that person. Yeah, because somebody else they might need just more of uh, a counseling session. Mm-hmm. You know that might help them get out of that. Mm-hmm. Some people need more you know prayer or, or a combination thereof. But I think it needs. It, 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 we can't just say all black people suffer from this and all black people need this drug. Yeah, all these these women they they you know need this because they're dealing with this every month or whatever like that. No, it's, it's, it's it needs to be open up more for people to have a, a better understanding of what they need for their own bodies. Mm-hmm. It needs to be talked about more in, more in a positive light too as well. Yeah, I've yeah. amongst our yeah. culture it's not talked about as positive about, you know, going to get the help that you need. Right. right. You know, right. instead right. of, you know, the red words, I ain't gonna say them, but yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I think I think the pharmaceutical um, companies also do capitalize oh, off of the healing. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. think they're of course there are more natural remedies that you you can probably take that will help calm your mood in a certain situation, slow your mind down. From being, you know, saying erratic and things of that nature that are out there, but of course you're not going. They're not going to let us see those nope. things, and they'll use those things and then put other contaminants inside the, the medicine along with that to mm-hmm. make you need more medicine right. so they can make more money. You know, yeah, they're doing yeah. the same thing with our food too. Oh yeah, yeah I'm about to say y'all, y'all yeah. really want to talk about that because I yeah. can talk about the pharmaceutical companies. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah. A yeah. Yeah. that's a whole different topic. Yeah, that's a whole different topic. They they are making us yeah. sick on purpose yeah. so that the doctors, yeah. you know, exactly yeah. so benefit it's, off it's of a, this. It's a hustle. It's they drug the illegal drug dealers. Um, but I think it's a combination what you're saying is I think it's counseling I think it's prayer Mm -hmm. I think medication is needed Mm -hmm. in some cases and some people may ask well why would God make somebody deal who's dealing with these kind of issues why would God do that 
I can't think with the mind of God, but I have seen people who have quote unquote mental disabilities who are incredibly smart. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? People who have shared their trauma and shared their issues that have been blessings and breakthroughs for other people. And then through that, they've received healing. So God yeah. can use anything yeah. in anybody. Yeah. We do have unfortunate cases where people have committed suicide and done things of that nature, but it's people who haven't had mental illnesses who have done that. Some mental illness can be triggered mm-hmm. um, through life experience. Some things, people can be born with a chemical imbalance or whatever it is. Nothing's too hard for God, but I just think it's totally insensitive just to say, that this stuff is not real, when this is people's reality that they're living with every day, mm-hmm. and they're trying to find ways out. People are just, you know, doing I mean, everything. Look, they look at military people who are going through PTSD. You're going to tell me that's not real? What they see in war, right. you know, from all these years and everything? You can't tell me that's not real. Right. Oh, uh, man. Uh, so there's a poll up. Have you ever considered self-elimination? Um, and 26% said they have attempted it. Mm-hmm. Um, 22% said I've known someone who's done it. Mm-hmm. Uh, 17% um, I know someone who's suicidal. Um, and I'll, I'll have to say I'm, I'm included in the, um, I'm not in there. I'm not, I'm not in there. I, I, I didn't attempt, but I definitely, I definitely, there was a time where I was considering that. And um, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a dark place that there's something, it may start spiritual, but there's something physical that comes over you that needs to be dealt with because when you're so when you're such a dark place when you're so dark um that darkness can can really like you, if you feel it it's almost you see the cloud in front of your eyes and once you start thinking down that path it, it could be a point of no return so i'm praying for everybody who's said that they've attempted it or you know um they're dealing with it or know somebody who's dealt with it um man pray pray that whatever can be healed by prayer happens pray that whatever could be healed with medicine or natural elements happens just pray that god heals because um you can come back like i praying through that situation and people praying for me um i haven't had those thoughts again you know and uh i'm not gonna lie there there are moments still where you go back and you and you think about man wouldn't it be better if you weren't around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Definitely praying for you, brother. And praying for you. I yeah. if you're in that place, the thing that gets you out of it and, and what helps me yeah. is that there is somebody that needs you, that needs to hear what you have inside of your heart. They need to know how you got through that moment. Yeah. So that you can speak into their life. And sitting in my prayer closet, um, thinking about these things and just realizing that. If there's at least one person, God, let me stay here so I can speak into their life. Yeah. And um Amen, brother. Amen. 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 There's, good, there's brother. still more for you. <clears throat> yeah. Hold on, because um God is gonna use this and He's gonna allow you to speak into people's hearts and you're gonna see a change and you're gonna realize why He didn't allow you to do that. Amen. And Amen. um that's that's the realest keep, thing keep you could have said, on. brother. That's the realest yeah. thing you could have said. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, that's, Thank a, you sure. that's a blessing. Definitely going to keep you up in prayer. And all of those who are going through some of the same things. So, yeah. yeah sure. Very important. I think that um, uh, there's um, there's a woman. Um, I'm trying to think of her name right now. Um, uh, gosh, it's escaping my mind right now. Um, but she wrote a book. Um, she's one of the top podcasters in, in the country. And her name is escaping me right now. Roberts is um, her name. Uh, Robbins, Robbins, Roberts. Anyway, she has a, a book called Five Four Three Two One, and it's this this movement she kind of started when she was going through some things. Um, she said she had over eight hundred thousand dollars in debt. Um, she didn't want to get out of bed. She was so depressed. And five four three two one, you know, God gave her that um, that moniker as a way of not doing what you're going to do in that moment or doing what you need to do in that moment. Mm-hmm. And so I was looking at her, um, her, her Twitter feed one day and people were saying that five, four, three, two, one caused them to get down from where they were in that dark mm-hmm. place. Right. Like mm-hmm. I almost killed myself, but five, four, three, two, one. And I stepped backwards instead of stepping forward. Yeah. Right. I knew it was, it was the way to go. And so when you think about those moments, right, <coughs> deep breaths and, and um, just, you know, going into a place where you focus on God and you focus on, like you said, the people who love you and who yeah. need you, mm-hmm. who are around. Um, and think about the pain that it causes on, you know, on mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. You know, the mm-hmm. pain of, of them not hearing your voice again, of them having to, you know, um, 
deal with life without you. Um, and then all the things that God has put into you that you need to share with someone else that they are relying on as part of their growth and development. I think that that was one of the things that um, I struggled with when I first lost my father was like, I said, God, you know, you took him before all the lessons were learned. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to learn everything. Mm -hmm. And I and as I look back on that now, I think that, you know, God will continue to um Give us new lessons and, and give us new teachers. I can say that I've had my dad's uh, cousins and um, and and family and friends around me that have stepped up to say, "Hey, you know, you didn't have children when he was in there when he was in the world. Mm -hmm. Now you have four kids. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you need? What are some things that you want to hear about? What are some things that you're concerned about?" Right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that we have those people in our lives um, to remind us that God still has purpose for so many of us and so many things that we can continue to do um, for others that we don't necessarily know of. You know, I look at this show, um, Sean's father was an evangelist. My father was um, uh, an associate pastor. And we think about how, man, should we have gone out and actually ministered the gospel the way that they yeah, did? And yeah. it's like, well, we're doing that through this show. Mm -hmm. You know, for 18 years, we've been consistently telling people about the goodness of Jesus and not and asking them not to forget about him. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think that in this moment, we see that, you know, we can be used. We all can be used in so many different ways. Your testimony. I, I just want to exchange numbers with you and just mm -hmm. talk, talk your ear off because I just want to know yeah. more about, you know, how you go from how you've gone from so many extremes and the things that you've overcome Absolutely. Um, yeah. it's been uh, a blessing to hear yeah. um, um, and even DJ Focus your testimony it's just like God has so much in all of us even yeah. the people on this live in this chat it's so much more to be said yeah. you know than what we say you know in the conversation to our friends and family but the world needs to hear our story yeah, yeah I appreciate every, <clears throat> everybody in the chat saying saying uh, well wishes to me and all that yeah um, I just I just think going back to that moment when you feel that way God has shown me over and over again that if you're in that moment, there is somebody that needs you. Yeah. They need to know how you made it through that time. So I just want to encourage everybody. Like I, he's proven to me over and over again, even through your darkest times, like we, we both lost our fathers. Mm -hmm. We both had issues um, with, with, you know, children um, being born in this world. Yeah. Those are some dark moments, but man, seeing, seeing the result of the work that God did in you during those dark times, yeah, man, it just it just brings it's it's the it's the biggest pleasure I've had, the biggest joy I've ever had in my life, yeah, is seeing that the the dark times where God was working on me, mm -hmm. you see the the purpose of it, you see who He was getting me ready for right mm -hmm. in front of your face, where mm -hmm. you see the words yeah. you're saying, mm -hmm. they're landing on them. And, and and you just know it's like man, thank you God for mm -hmm. when when it's it's hard to understand when he says thank you, uh, praise God for the hard times too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you have to do that because I want to be able to say some of the things I say on the show, yeah, and on stages and all this kind of stuff. If I if he didn't put me through that time, yeah. when you feel like you're alone. You feel like you're at the end of your rope. It's for a reason. Yeah. The only the only thing that matters in this world is what is God using you for. Yeah. So if he's going to use that dark time, let him use it. Let him yeah. make whatever he needs changes he needs to make in your heart <clears throat> um so that you're prepared for when people need to hear you talk. You know, it's exciting just the thought of he's not done with us yet. Yeah. Amen. There's so yeah. much more to come, so much more to be revealed, so much more to be um so many so many more lessons to be um learned and taught, you yeah. know, from yeah. all of us. So I think yeah. that's exciting. Yeah, this is the beginning, man. Yeah, yeah sure. and again, I'm gonna say this again. <laughs> now, shout out to the 246 people. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. man. If, wow. Again, if this is your first time, this it's guy. not always this weepy. Um, <laughs> 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 I apologize for that. Nah, but it's the right time. But yeah. um, please subscribe. Good. Please lock in with us, man. We we we. This is this is what we're about. We're trying to we're trying to grow a community of people who love Jesus, that mm -hmm. want to make an impact in the world, whether yeah. it's creatively or in business or wherever, yeah. to motivate you to, to, to deprogram all the things that you learned that were not of God, mm -hmm. instilling you all the things that, that are of God so that you can make a difference in whatever industry you're in. Yeah. That's why we're here, man. We're, 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 the reason we break down all these topics and we, you know, what did B. Simone say about such and such? Why did so-and-so say about mm -hmm. such and such? Mm -hmm. It's so that we, when we get into those situations, we'll know what to do. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is like the, the practice. This is the yeah. game. 
game pl- game planning where we're sharing. Ryan may say something I disagree with, and I may say something he disagrees <laughs> with, but that's the iron sharpening iron to Absolutely. say, okay, yeah. now you think this, you think this. Why do you think that? Is yeah. because my dad taught me this. <laughs> Why do you think that? Is because my mom taught me that. Mm-hmm. But we're 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 getting to the root of it. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah. this is the actual truth <laughs> in the midst of all the tradition and mm-hmm. upbringing. Right. Now we need to start believing yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? That's the point of it. So 